Hello YouTubers, I'm Jonah and I love DIY. And today's tutorial, how to vacuum your pool, backwash and rinse. So come on, let's get started. The first thing we do is install our vacuum hose to our pool. Now let's drop the vacuum head in the water and with the other end of the hose we fill it up with water through our jet. So you know your hose is full when all the air bubbles have been released and your vacuum head sinks to the bottom. Now let's open up our skimmer basket cover. Then install our vacuum control plate. Then put in the other end of the hose like so. Here. Now just slowly vacuum the bottom of your pool to get all those debris and all those bugs. Just move the vacuum back and forth nice and slow. When we're done vacuuming there's two ways to remove the skimmer basket. The messy way and the clean way. Here's the first way of doing this. Okay. Shut up. Okay. Yeah, shut it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. As you can see, once you shut off that pump, all that debris comes back up. Therefore, I turn the pump back on until the debris sits back down in the skimmer basket. Now let's do the second way and, in my opinion, the correct way. So I turn the pump back on and let the debris settle back at the bottom of the basket. Wait a second. So when the debris settles at the bottom, I ask my wife to turn off the pump and at the same time I pull up the basket. Therefore less of a mess. <laughs> Okay, shut it off. That one. Okay, there, there, there. there we go. As you can see, almost all the debris is still in the basket. So comment below and tell me what you think about this technique. Now, I'll put a new sock into my skimmer basket. So if you don't use a sock, on your skimmer basket, I suggest you get one. It helps a lot on your pump. Therefore, you don't have to do as much backwashing. And you can pick up any of these socks at your local pool store. And I'm sure Amazon sells it too. Now I clean my dirty sock so I can alternate it for the next time.
Now, I turn the pump back on and put my skimmer basket back on. And I put my vacuum plate away for the next time. Now I check on my pump to see if there's any air bubbles and everything looks good and everything is working properly. Now I'll turn off the pump again and turn the dial into backwash. So if you don't have a sock for your basket filter, you should always backwash after you vacuum your pool. I usually keep the backwash on for about a minute, but if you know that your sand filter is really dirty, you can probably put it up to three minutes. Then I turn off the pump once again, and I turn the dial into the rinse cycle. Always rinse after you backwash. Then I turn on the pump again. I keep the rinse cycle between 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Then we turn off the pump again and turn the dial back to filter. Then we turn on the pump for the last time. It's that simple. So in my case, a clean pool is a happy daughter. And as always, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.